I haven't dismissed the possibility that it's aliens either. I mean, it could be aliens flying out there, but then again, you know, they have the technology to get here. Why aren't they using their invisibility cloaks? Because many materials and invisibility cloaking and carbon nanotubes that you, uh, all those types of technologies you can produce invisibility with, we've done it. Look up Mira Mirage Effect. Um, look up Mirage Effect CNTs. CNT is short for carbon. It's incredible. Nanotube. We can find all this stuff right on Google. Yeah, if you know what to look for. <laughs> if you know what to look for. Right. Yeah, you got to know what to look for. You for have sure. to know the keywords, and if you don't, then you will never ever stumble across it in your random researches. Right. You know, not in a million years. But if you know what you're looking for, yeah, it will come right up. Absolutely. So they have a sheet of carbon nanotubes, and they run a voltage through it, and it creates a mirage effect, which bends the light around. It. So. Whoa. That's way easier than a warp drive, bro. So if you got warp drive, you can you can invisible you got visibility cloaks, bro. This is underwater? Yeah, it's in a, it's underwater actually. So explain to me how this is happening. So what happens, right, is they run a voltage through those carbon nanotubes which are like what's a carbon nanotube? Uh, so like think of like graphene, you know, almost like a super almost like a real real almost like a superconductor but not quite a superconductor so it's real high um ele really low electrical resistance in these okay. things then when a high voltage through it, it it produces a massive amount of heat locally very quickly so so it's it's heating up to like like maybe uh I don't know, like four or 5,000 degrees at, 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 a, at a very small point on the surface of that. And mm -hmm. that temperature inversion creates a um, creates a warping of the space. And this happens actually, uh, you ever heard of Fata Morgana? No. So type in F-A-T-A -A Morgana. So a Fata Morgana is a, another type of mirage. It's called the Flying Dutchman. Because it it's where like ships will appear to be floating um, slightly above the, the surface of the water. Okay, yeah. And that's caused by you see that graph the 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 the, color, the red the reddish one the reddish picture that's the one yeah oh, you get a bigger you got to get a bigger version of that there has to be a a bed of of really hot air on top of a bed of of, of cold air and that that um see the the super hot air and that layer between the hot air and the cold air is yes. where that refractive index is key and the refractive index is key because when, when that refractive index changes rapidly there's a reflection off there so so you're actually getting a reflection off of that temperature gradient same way that you're getting a reflection of the mirage off the temperature gradient in those carbon nanotubes so it's um that's I'm how invisibility right works now. that's how invisibility works man we <laughs> you are blowing my fucking mind <laughs> um, our ice melted. I gotta get us uh, some more ice. Well, let's let's don't pause. Just keep running it. I'm gonna go grab some ice. It's gonna about to get real deep. I'm gonna need here, to wet my so. whistle if we're gonna get deeper than this. Right. So so the same idea. You have a surface of hot air or a hot um a hot the temperature gradient creates a a um an inversion effect where you have a, um a refractive index, mm -hmm. and that's the same effect that you look at the hot road on a hot sunny day, and you get that mirage effect looking down. Right, the road. exactly. Same thing in a desert. You see that when you look at like a yeah. telephoto shot of a desert, you can see that when people are walking it's down the, the road. The surface of the sand or the road is hotter than the surrounding air, right? Because the sun's right there, and that that um, temperature gradient um, or layering effect creates it. Creates this. So, is there any proof that this is actually being used in defense research or any kind of like technology bigger than something in a fishbowl. Yeah, well, there's so they started the 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 again I mentioned the Project Rainbow is the US um invisibility project started by Edward Mills personally. Project Rainbow. So you can search Project Rainbow, see. So right. And they created with a number of uh interesting technologies. Like one of them was uh this is where the metamaterials first uh, kind of got their background. So <laughs> yeah, you're not and maybe not get it for that, but uh look up um <laughs> wallpaper project rainbow wallpaper for example right so they have this stuff called the wallpaper oh no 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 <laughs> no, no no so they they created a grid and they printed on it like a grid uh, with um on the wallpaper and the and the grid was like a meta material that was tuned to the same frequency as the russian radar the or the, or the radar systems they were trying to be invisible against 
And by coating the U2s with the fuselage of the U2 with this this uh, wallpaper stuff, they were able to make it um, invisible. And this was like a very early version. It was very, of course, it was very thick and heavy, and it created too much drag and other other problems for the craft to really be usable and effective. Um, but that was like the big thing because you know they started the Russians were tracking our U two flights as you know as early as the fifties, and right. so we were trying to figure out how to how we can get these these programs to go over. And this was Lockheed that made this. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Developed by the yeah. Lincoln Lab team at Lockheed. Yep. Yeah, it was Lockheed. Yeah. So so then they had some of these other um ideas for for how to how to do it, um, including the yeah, the trapeze um reflectors and stuff. Um, but eventually this uh this stuff developed into a study on, you know, ma materials themselves. So so actually the paint the, the black paint that they use on the SR seventy one, which replaced the U two. For as as a recon plane, um, and also the paint that's on the F one seventeen, it's this black, very uh, dull black paint, right? It's yeah, actually it, Brett was talking about this when you guys were on when you were on his show, yeah, briefly. Yeah, so they they actually figured out it's made out of barium titanate, um, a version of barium titanate, and uh, the which is a ferroelectric and it has an interesting radar response. So they use this paint with a uh, metamaterials built into the paint to make it more radar absorbent. And um, they burned a bunch of this stuff out at uh because they have to replace they have to scrape off and replace the paint very often because it's it's very uh, susceptible to weather and other, mm -hmm. other things. Um, they, in order to keep it fresh, they, they cost a ton of money to maintain and, and this, you know to, to repaint these these things and do it. And also the toxicity of disposing of this stuff. They were burning in open burn pits out at Area Fifty One, and a bunch of guards got sick. You can look up a case of the guy. The guy's name is Fred Dunham. And he's uh, one of the guards that got like super sick uh, from these open burn pits. So they were actually, you know, burning the stuff and people were breathing in and getting sick mm. out there uh, as a way to dispose of the technology supposedly so that, you know, they wouldn't get out. Um, but yeah, that's, it's, it's some, there is evidence of them using this. Yes. And, and on active craft. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and there's, is there any, like, has there ever been any footage of, what we saw on those little tubes inside the water of basically the thing becoming invisible. Oh, of like, at, well, like, a, like this cloaking technology. So if you look up, um, look up BAE stealth tanks. So they have these polychromatic, this is the earlier version of this, this is a, a very, a, a different version. So they use these polychromatic and hexagon B, panels. BAE is what? BAE is British Aerospace uh, okay. or something like that. It's BAE. Uh, right. It used to be Marconi, believe it or not. Look at that tank. Look at the, look, click on the one with the guy standing next to it. Right, right there. Holy shit. Look at that thing, dude. It's like a Tesla tank. Yeah. So the, those those hexagon panels on the side of it can uh, change the color and all. they can also, they, they change color to make it like, uh, visual camouflage, but they they can also change heat signature with infrared. So look at that that uh, image with where the tank is in the infrared the infrared one um, in the middle on the bottom. Oh, right, right there, there, yeah. So that's the tank, and then it, it activates the panels, and it looks like an SUV out there from the heat signature because it, it it changes it cools the the other panels and and heats the other ones up. Oh wow. Um. Yes, yeah, so it's. I don't know what BAE actually stands for. I thought it stood for like British Aerospace. It's like the, it's like the British but... version of Lockheed or something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you know where Britain's Area 51 is? No. Porton Down. What's the significance that's, of Porton Down? Porton Down is where the Area 51, that's Britain's Area 51. That's oh, okay. where they do all their classified, you know, aerospace and physics research. What, and stuff. Sh what, country, what country do you think has the most sophisticated U.S. No, definitely. U.S. Yeah, we we definitely definitely have the other countries beat. <laughs>